how the giraffe got its long neck, bizarre looking African mammal's spine stretched in bursts millions of years apart. It may sound like the plot of a whimsical tale by author Rudyard Kipling, but scientists have finally unraveled how the giraffe got its long neck. A new study has revealed the animal's spine underwent several bursts of evolution which first saw the bones elongate up towards the head and then down towards the tail. It shows that rather than stretching consistently over time, the necks of the giraffe ancestors grew in in stages millions of years apart. The Secret of Giraffe's Shins Scientists have long puzzled over how the spindly long legs of giraffe support its huge weight. Now researchers at the Royal Veterinary College in London have identified a highly specialized ligament structure that is thought to prevent giraffe's legs from collapsing under the immense weight of the animal. In giraffes, the equivalence to our metatarsal bone, in the foot, and metacarpal bone, in the hand, are extremely elongated, accounting for roughly half the leg length. A distinct groove runs along the length of these bones, housing a structure called the suspensory ligament. This structure is found in other large animals, such as horses, which are well known for their ability to sleep whilst standing, but this is the first time that it has been studied in giraffes. The researchers found this arrangement solves the mystery of how the giraffe's spindly legs can support its weight. As the suspensory ligament is elastic tissue, and not muscle, it cannot generate force itself so can only offer passive support. This means that giraffes can support their weight without actively engaging as much muscle, thereby reducing fatigue.